When I saw the official trailer from Returnal on the PlayStation 5 for the very first time, I was actually very skeptical. Another third person shooter where you die a lot and you have to start from the very beginning. Not my first choice when it comes to games, to be very honest. But thanks God, I gave it a try because this game is awesome. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Armag Fall and welcome back to a very quick first impression video on my channel and I'm very sure you can hear it, I'm still struggling with my voice so I'm sorry for that. Returnal PlayStation 5, awesome game and in the very beginning I was a little bit skeptical when I watched the gameplay trailer, when I watched the official trailer because I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to um, third uh, person shooter and uh, I'm really not a big fan when it comes to rooch like gameplay because um, what I found some of those games are a little bit boring because you always start in the very beginning like this when you die you start at the crash site here in this case that's the crash site and I just died and this is where you're ending up but what I found in terms of this game it is not boring at all because every time the world will change a little bit and it will give you a new impression. You will have uh, new enemies, you have new objects and stuff like that and you will progress and this is really really great. So in this video we're talking about graphic, we're talking about controls of course, we're talking about gameplay or I will show you gameplay of course and we're talking about controls. Have I said this already? Not sure about this anymore but let's start with yeah the first impression video and let's start with the gameplay. So in this game you're playing Selina, a pilot which has yeah, crashed on this planet and your, yeah, your target is actually to break the cycle because we have always a cycle to fulfill. And um, what I have to say is, um, hello, I need to concentrate to kill those here. Just give me a second. So I had such a great weapon and then I died and now I have this bloody handgun again which is a pain in the ass but thanks god you're not starting with the with the biggest um, enemies again and you have to be very careful with this one because those things are just grabbing you and pulling you up and then they're eating you and you can't destroy it unfortunately. Anyway gameplay. Gameplay is what you see at the moment of course. I don't want to spoil it too much but I like to show you a couple of things of course. So you have, you have to discover a lot, you have to um, revisit a lot of yeah, known places and I like to show you of course the map which reminds me personally of Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime, not sure if you're familiar with this game series on the Nintendo consoles and I have to say as soon as an, uh, a Metroid Prime on the Switch I will buy the Switch, full stop. Because Metroid Prime was one of the best oh shit games I ever played okay just give me one second I need to find a better weapon I need to find a better weapon okay let's move to this door so maybe we're lucky and we can find a new weapon here not quite sure oops Container. Let's open this one. Yes! Of course we're swapping the weapon. What do we have here? Something like that. Okay, much better. So much better. I have to concentrate. I'm very sorry. Because I don't want to die during my video so many times. I think I died already seven, eight, nine times. So, a little bit, uh, I like to explain a little bit about the weapon. So every weapon has two firing modes. Uh, normal standard, which I'm using at the moment. And I show you the secondary in a second, because I just like to get rid of all these little ones here. And then we taking care about this big one here in the, in the end. So, and all the weapons don't, they have uh, unlimited ammo. The only thing what they're doing is uh, the over, 
the overheating and then you have to wait a little bit. And they have actually, oh, there's another one. Almost missed it. And they have two, um, two alternate, or um, a main firing uh, mode like this one. This is the main mode from the weapon and then an alternative mode. And uh, just let me hide here. So you can, of course, you can press uh, the L2 button and then you have your aim, your normal aim. This is halfway through. And what you can also do when you press this completely, you have the secondary mode from the weapon. And we try this now. I have no idea what this one is doing with this one. Oh yeah, this is nice. So, but it takes some time till this get refilled, which you can see on the bottom left here on the screen. And I have to say this, this weapon is actually really nice, really nice. Also, you can destroy this and sometimes there are little objects in, sometimes. And here, what is this here? Reclaimer, a Xenotech device for recycling materials, output unknown, warning, interaction can damage integrity. Doesn't matter, well, we just tried. What is it? She's taking a nap now or what? Ooh, I don't want the spoiler, but we have to watch this, unfortunately. Okay, there wasn't, wasn't a much of a spoiler. So what changed? Okay, I lost a little bit of integrity, but this came up here. Adrenaline stimulants. Okay, so I'm in the very beginning from the game. So to be very honest, I haven't explored a lot. I think I played so far two hours around. So here's my next door. Oh yeah, I can explain you the map a little bit further. Okay, again, this map reminds me really of Metroid Prime from the map from Metroid Prime. And what we can see here is doors. Um, red doors means we already walked or passed these doors. And we have this um, yeah, main pass doors, which um, is our main pass. Yeah, okay, that's very, yeah. <laughs> anyway, and then we have this triangle doors or whatever you call this, which is a side pass where you most likely find uh, new weapons or upgrades or stuff like that. And also, of course, it will show you all the things what you have missed. Like here's our, what is this here actually? This is my, uh, it's a device. Okay, cool. This is, the, this is the light in the beginning, huh? Okay, but I have no idea what this device is actually doing. And you have to pick up a lot of this stuff, which reminds me personally of Godfall a little bit because it looks more likely identical when you're a little bit further away. But uh, yeah, anyway, so the green stuff is for your integrity, which is, yeah, the health, which in this case was something different, not the integrity. Blah. Yeah, I got a plus here. I, I don't know why. Anyway, I have no idea how I get up here, but what I found, Oh no, damn it. Anyway, that's my door. But what I found is, where is it? There are s lights on here. This lights, I'm not sure if you can see this here. And I'm very sure in the later levels or later game, I can do something with this one. Not yet, not at this very moment. And I really hate these statues. I hate them. Because they're looking so, I don't know. Okay, can I go over there? Probably not. Probably from here. No, 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 no. Just give me a, tr give me a second. I like to try something. No, damn it. Almost. Okay. I've never been here, I can't remember this level. Whoops. So every time when you die, of course, I told you already, you will start again at the crash site. And 
But the world will change. The world will change. But of course, the main levels, let's say like this, will be the same all the time because you have to do, or yeah, you have to um, do a certain certain task or quests, of course. So this will not change. You can destroy those. But what I found, you have a big variety of enemies. And here we have, hopefully, yeah, here we have integrity. So this red one is for sure this, um, yeah, rocket launcher again. And this looks so amazing on my LG ZX. This looks so amazing. But more about this stuff in my HDR video. Okay, I think you saw enough from gameplay. Um, very straightforward. Not much to learn in terms of um, buttons, which is good. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. So when is this, hey, when is this, oh, when is the shield going down? Probably I need my, my secondary weapon for this, yeah. Oh my God, I'm almost dead, almost dead. Okay, should I show you how it looks like when I'm die? Okay, let's do it. Okay, this is how it looks like when you die and then what's happening next is, yeah, come on, you have to hit me, okay? You will have a little bit of a, yeah, video, sometimes with uh, maybe one second of her memory, I think, but not all the time. And then again, you end up at the crash site. So, and of course we can go into our spaceship or aircraft. What is the name? Spaceship. Let's call it spaceship. And we have something like a computer here where we can look at our progress so far. What we have done so far, how many times we died. Nine times, I died nine times. I explored 44 areas. I eliminated 135 hostiles and I played 4 hours and 10 minutes, which is not real gameplay because I tried a lot of things, I did the video, so I think really gameplay so far I had 2 hours, okay? The rest is really trying, um, yeah, doing the video and whatever. And I haven't, I don't know what's going on with the bed here uh, because you can take a nap, but I have no idea what uh, the outcome is. Maybe it is when you have low integrity or low health, maybe it will refill the health, but really I have no idea. I haven't tried it so far. But that's about the gameplay and this is the object. Oh, now we can do something. Let's do it. New item unlocked. Yeah. What is my new item? What is my new item? I have no idea. I really don't know. What is my new item? Okay, anyway, let's continue with graphic. Okay, and I have to say, I'm not that impressed when it comes to the graphic from this game. It is, in my opinion, just average. It is not bad, but it's also not a game changer. So maybe I'm actually a little bit disappointed. This is a PlayStation 5 exclusive game. Uh, don't get me wrong, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look wrong or yeah, not good. You know what I mean? But I was expecting a little bit more in terms of um, the texture quality uh, in terms of the particle effects and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's not really the best graphical game what I have seen on the PlayStation 5 so far. Um, when, you, when you have a look on the uh, plans here, they're really looking very low resolution, to be very honest. Um, hopefully this will change in later levels. I have no idea uh, because so far I just played this one. What is this? What are you? Okay. And we have, of course, company again. This is okay. Oh, they are new. And I just have my bloody handgun again. 
which of course is not very helpful, but better than nothing. What is this? I'm very sure I can maybe swing or whatever. Oh shit. In later levels. So even the, the handgun, this, the secondary weapon is really powerful, thanks God. So, but again, graphic. Um, in my opinion, really just average. Uh, we have uh, from time to time very nice HDR effects, but I will talk about HDR in my separate video or in my HDR analyze video. Uh, the rest is really just average. Uh, we have, thanks God, a very um, anti-lazing or a lazing free video, uh, sorry, a lazing free uh, picture, which uh, is a very clear picture, very, um, yeah, a lazing free picture. And I'm really not a big fan of anti from a lazing, so I really hate this. What I have to say, I can see or spot a little bit of uh, motion blur in the background, which unfortunately you can't disable at all because all what we have in the video option is the colorblind mode, the customized HUD mode, and graphic is simplified UI, bloom and brightness SDR. By the way, we're still in HDR. I'm not sure what is SDR, what is meant with SDR in HDR mode. Anyway. Um, so again, I'm a little bit disappointed when we're talking about the graphical aspect from this game because again, I was thinking uh, it's a PlayStation 5 exclusive game. I was expecting a little bit more, but um, yeah, that's how it is. When it comes to frame rate, um, I haven't experienced major drops. So I have experienced minor drops, let's say like this absolutely minor nothing uh, to complain really uh, we shouldn't complain about this at all because it is stable in 99.99 percent of the time it is really stable 60 fps which is great and we have a new weapon and of course we're taking this weapon because which one is this okay this one is also new i never had this one Okay, let's move on. I think graphic, we talked about graphic enough, I think. Let's move on to controls. Okay, so when we're talking about controls, in this game we have to talk about haptic feedback and rumble function because they're using those features on the PlayStation 5 controllers very, very nicely. Absolutely, almost perfect in my opinion. Um, so, what you have with your weapons, let's say. Uh, we have really uh, the aim mode which is the first trigger point. And then when you press it completely, you have your secondary uh, fire mode, which is this one here, looks nice. And all the time, the controller never rests, it never, it's never still. All the time when you jump or whatever, when you, when you run or whatever, you have rumble function. And even when it's raining, unfortunately at the moment it's not raining, and I'm going back, this is the wrong direction. And even when, uh, when it's raining and the rain is falling on your suit, you can actually feel it on the rumble controller, which is great. Where's my door? Here's my door. Pick up this one and let's move to the door. And when the uh, weapon is uh, or weapon has to reload, you can also feel it. It's really nice. The force feedback or the rumble function and the haptic trigger function on this controller are really, really great. Oh my god, uh, can I jump over here? Yes. I mean, jump, jump down. Okay, this was a big jump. So, the only thing what I changed in the beginning, can I, too far away. The only thing what I changed uh, on the controller layout is actually the dash button because, wow, who are you? You are new. Go away. Because in the beginning, I will show you this in a second. I will show you this now. So, uh, this is our standard. No, it's not our standard. This is my customized uh, controls already. So, usually, um, dash is not on L1. It's usually on uh, the circle button, which I found is not, not practical because you use dash or I use dash a lot in the game to dash. 
<laughs> you know, it, you just need it very often. And what I found is when you steer of when you control your character and you have to use this button, then you lose you lose time to control your character. That's why I moved uh, the dash button to L1, which is so much better. It takes a little bit time because uh, you're not used to uh, it, to be very honest, to dash on L1. So it's, I don't know why, because the standard layout, of course, it's it's really has to do with, with those buttons, jumping, dashing, and uh, whatever, cover or whatever. It's always on those buttons. And of course, it's very unlikely that it's on the shoulder uh, buttons, but in my, case and my opinion it is better when you change this and it you can actually customize the um yeah your controller as you like it it's really really great really you can change all the buttons completely which is perfect really perfect because this is how it should be in every game and again i really think that the dash button on the l1 is so much better Yes, because you have to use it often, especially when you, um, oh, you again. Yeah, when you have to jump over edges or whatever. Wow, who is shooting? This one is shooting. Bam, yes. Okay, I really like this game. Um, okay, what I forgot to mention in the graphical aspect, because I just saw it, we have pop-ins from time to time, which uh, is, in my opinion, a little bit annoying. Not all the time, don't get me wrong. Uh, it will, oh my God, this was close. Um, not all the time, but from time to time, you can experience some pop-up, which is a little bit annoying because we're talking about a PlayStation 5 with ultra speed SSD drive and still we have pop-ups uh nah this shouldn't be you know what i mean but uh okay i have to concentrate again okay so let's talk about sound so i removed my uh, microphone and my uh, mobile phone is recording because i think this uh, the mobile phone will yeah capture the sound a little bit better than the microphone hopefully because it's really nice Okay, I have to wait. I can't kill this guys with the normal weapon, with the standard. No, it's not working. Okay, anyway, we can do it with this one. No, I can't. Wow. Okay, not sure what's going on. But I hope you can hear the nice soundtrack. This is such a great atmosphere. Such great effects. No, I'm completely wrong. Oh no! Wow. Okay, where do I have to go? Wow, where do I have to go? I'm on top here. I can go over there. And then I can go. I was, wasn't in this door. But here's the next door. I need to go there. Okay, wait. Oh. But the sound is just amazing, really. The sound is amazing in this game. Especially in 5.1 Dolby, Dolby Digital. That's just the standard gun. My subwoofer is really... Oh, okay, so now I have this again. So with headphones, this is not the same experience in my opinion than with... Um... Wow, okay. They're getting better and better every time. So now, hopefully, you understand why I need the dash button a lot, of, many times, because you have to fire and move around the whole time, and you have to dash. 
And it's so much easier when you have the dash button on the L1 instead of uh, the circle. But again, we are talking about sound. Die, 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 shit. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Almost. Okay, that's good. Again, sound, wow, really, really great. And makes a lot of the great atmosphere in this game. So in my opinion, the sound is much better than the graphic. And it is so important, to be very honest, a good sound effect in a game is so important and maybe almost more important than perfect graphic. Okay, my friends, that's for this video. And if you like to see some Let's Play material, I will upload, of course, Let's Plays from this game. And I died again. I mean, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter because... Uh, just skip this for now. And let's see what is now behind this door. Again, something new. And again, um, don't get me wrong, you will end up with the same levels uh, from time to time, of course, because there are main levels what you, uh, which you have to complete or you have to do stuff in the main levels, which is just normal. But the variety is just great. So it's, it is not getting boring at one stage, not at all. Because now I have this crappy weapon and I have to fight against those. I have no idea what the name is. Okay, again, I just can recommend this game. Die, die! If you're a fan of uh, third-person shooter games and huge-like gameplays and a lot of exploring, then this is the game to go, really. Absolutely. So, okay, again, this is the video. I will stop here because enough said. So make sure, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel because the next video is about the HDR implementation from this game, HGIG versus dynamic tone mapping. Does it support natively HGIG and so on. All these questions I will uh, yeah, answer in the next video. And yeah, I say thank you very much for watching me. And yeah, leave me a like, leave me a comment. And yeah, again, <laughs> thanks. I see you in the next video. Bye.